You know they say you can't catch up with ketchup. Why? Because it's always ahead of lettuce in the salad race. Now that's a saucy pun to get us started. Welcome to the wonderful, whimsical world of ketchup. Today we're diving into the delightful and somewhat sticky journey of how this beloved condiment transforms from a humble tomato to the king of your burger. So buckle up as we squeeze out the secrets of making ketchup. Ever wonder how a dignified tomato ends up as a red, saucy, tangy delight we call ketchup? Well, let's dive into the transformation journey of a tomato, which is anything but ordinary. It all starts when our plump, ripe and dignified tomatoes are hand-picked with love and care. Think of it as the VIP treatment before the roller coaster ride. Next, they're treated to a refreshing spa day, also known as the washing process. It's like a tomato jacuzzi, where they're cleaned and scrubbed till they're squeaky clean and their skins are glowing. After their relaxing spa day, they're off to a salsa dance and by that I mean they're crushed. But it's not as violent as it sounds. Think of it as a tomato massage, where the tomatoes are gently squished till they release their juicy goodness. It's a tomato's way of letting its hair down and getting loose. So now our tomatoes are having a pool party in a crushing tub. Next, they'll hit the sauna. Now our tomatoes are about to get steamy, not in a romantic way, but in a boiling way. Picture this folks, a spa day for tomatoes. They've been crushed, yes, but they're about to undergo a rejuvenating treatment that will transform them into the ketchup we all know and love. The pot is their sauna, where they're gently simmered under the watchful eye of the chef. The heat is cranked up and they start to sweat, releasing their flavorful juices into the bubbling brew. It's like a deep tissue massage, but for tomatoes. They're getting pampered, treated to the kind of heat that makes them relax and let go of all their tensions, all their solids. And oh, the aroma. It's like walking into a tomato therapy session where each one is pouring out their heart, their flavor and their essence, creating a rich, deep tomato e goodness. So our tomatoes have had their hot bath and now they're all mushy and ready for the next step. What's next? Are our tomatoes ready to become the star of the show? Not yet, they need some bling first. Every superstar needs their entourage, and for our tomato puree, it's sugar, vinegar, salt, and a medley of secret spices. They join the party, turning our once simple tomato puree into a flavorful fiesta. Sugar adds the sweet notes, like the melody in a song, while vinegar belts out the tangy harmony. Salt, the steady beat, brings balance, and our secret spices, well, they're the surprise guest artists, adding depth and complexity to the mix. Now it's time for the bottling bonanza. Imagine this, a fashion runway. Our ketchup, now seasoned and savory, struts its stuff down the conveyor belt. It's the star of this show, the supermodel of sources. It's not just about filling the bottles, it's a performance, a final strut before the grand finale. Each bottle is filled with precision, the ketchup cascading in like a red velvet waterfall. A cap is then placed, the ketchup's crown, and sealed tight. The label, the ketchup's haute couture, is then wrapped around, completing the ensemble. And there you have it, from a humble tomato to a bottle of ketchup, ready to make your fries fancy and your burgers better. Remember, life is like ketchup. Sometimes it's sweet, sometimes it's tangy, and it's always better when you share it with others.